What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. Uh, this is a 1999 Jeep Cherokee Sport XJ 4.0. Bought it from a friend. Uh, me and all our co-workers at our job all pitched in and were able to buy this car for our boss. Long story short, he needed a big car to transport a lot of the restock from Sam's Club to the store and also to get the, the shops uh, restock the products to the store. But originally we were looking at Tahoe's couldn't find any Tahoe's that were cheap or in good shape. A buddy of ours was selling this Jeep and we were like, and he was like, yeah, it runs pretty good. There's nothing wrong with it really. And picked it up for about $2,000, brought it home, gave it to him and surprised him with it. And he was super happy with it. So I have it now for the week. It is Tuesday as of filming this. I have to go to work at 11 in a few. So I'm just making this intro and then I will get to doing the interior when I get back from work at four o'clock. My plans for this are, I wanna clean up the interior, clean up the exterior, do a paint correction, polish it, wax it. I might do something about the bushwhackers and the, and the bumpers, just to make them look a little bit nicer. Um, but yeah, I think that's basically it. So stay tuned for the interior cleaning. All right, so starting on the interior, my boss didn't really care about the interior. It wasn't even that dirty to begin with. So I basically just did a quick little vacuum Touched up the interior with some all-purpose cleaner, cleaned some of the panels that had a little bit of dirt on them. I cleaned the windows, put some Meguiar's hyper dressing on the plastics, interior trim, all that stuff. The back seat was a little bit nasty. I could have extracted it, but again, he said he really didn't care, so I didn't just didn't want to waste my time, especially time that I didn't have. So here's a quick little look over of the interior. Again, not too dirty, just a little bit of leaves and small dirt stuff all over the place, but yeah. You gonna take the floor mats, floor mats out. It's got some rubber floor mats on top of the stock fabric ones. Gonna give it a quick vacuum, and yeah. All right, so for this detail, I didn't really film that much, um, and all the parts that I did film like this are in not very good lighting, so this is just showing that I actually did do some cleaning. Um, I know it's really dark, can't really see much, but I used some uh, Meguiar's uh, Citrus Power Cleaner, I think is what it's called. It's a pre-diluted bottle that you can buy at like Advance Auto. There's like none left, and I usually use it for like my parents' cars and stuff, but I just want to use the rest of it on this. Usually I use Meguiar's All-Purpose Cleaner like in a bulk bottle, diluted, usually 10 to 1. But yeah, wiping it down a little bit, using a detail brush to, you know, with height spots, so I can apply the hyper dressing afterwards. Alright, moving on to the exterior, first we're going to start on the wheels and tires. For the chemical I'm using is Meguiar's Wheel and Tire Non-Acid Cleaner Diluted 4 to 1, I believe. Just going to spray down the tire and the wheel with it. I recently started doing this thing where I spray down the tools before I start scrubbing on the tire. Um, I think it gives it a little bit more cleaning power and uh, produces more suds so you can actually see the dirt coming off so I know that it's getting clean um, and it seemed to work pretty well.
All right, moving on to the pre-wash rinse. Just gonna rinse it down really quick, get all the dirt off, and then I'm gonna use some Meguiar's Gold Class as the soap in my Chemical Guys Torque foam cannon. Foam up the car, let it sit for a little bit to let the soap do the work. And then I'm gonna go around the car itself with a detail brush and get all the cracks and everything just to loosen up all the parts that I'll miss with the wash mitt. So as you can see, I'm doing that right there, hitting the grill, all the lights, and then I'm gonna use a microfiber wash mitt for the wash process. I'm making sure to wring out my wash mitt after every panel. I use one side of the wash mitt for one panel, then I'll flip it to the other side for the next panel, and then I will rinse it out in my second bucket for the next panel. Since I will be doing paint corrections, I'm going to clay bar the car. I'm not going to do the hood just because there's literally no clear coat, so there's no point in even trying. So I'm using some Meguiar's Quick Detailer and the clay bar that is included in the kit. Just going to spray down each panel and then lightly glide the clay across the paint to remove any surface body contamination. As you can see, it was pretty dirty, so I'm going to knead that up and get to a clean side. And once I'm done clay barring, I can get on to paint corrections. Before I start paint corrections, I'm going to tape off the plastic just because I don't want to get any compound on it because if you do, it's going to stain it and it's not going to look good. I made that mistake once already, so I learned from my mistake. For the compound, I'm using Meguiar's 110 with a red cutting disc. I'm going to do that and then I'm going to move on to polish, then I'm going to wax. Alright now for polishing, I'm using Meguiar's 210 and a yellow cutting disc. This will refine the finish and give it a nice deep shine. Alright, and for the wax, I'm using Chemical Guys Cherry Wet Wax. I don't really like Chemical Guys products, but I like their waxes and some of their other products, but I can't really name it off the top of my head. I like their waxes, they smell good, and they work pretty well. They don't last a whole long time, but it's wax is wax, it's whatever. I'm gonna use that with a black finishing disc, and it's gonna give it a nice protective layer. So obviously it's not perfect, this car has not been maintained very properly, but it does look leagues better than it did before. Since this was a surprise for him and we were making this look like a brand new car, I decided to get him some good rain -X wiper blades because his old ones were really crappy, so we got some nice new wiper blades on there for him. Also gotten him some blind spot mirrors, help him back up a little bit.
Hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. Stay tuned for next week when I will hopefully get you guys a brand new video. I'm going to try and do one video a week. Seeing as my work schedule is all over the place during the week, I can only detail on the weekends. Make sure you guys subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.